Alright guys, welcome to another tutorial on uh, orthographic projections and we'll be solving or explaining solved examples from engineering drawing book one by Pickup and Packer and we'll be using these two to explain first angle projection and third angle projection but this video will consist of just tutorial on first angle projection. And we'll be using this example, example one. It's already solved. This is the solution right here. But I'll just be explaining why and why we have these objects where they are. So um, I will be sketching with a ruler. Um, it may not be to scale, but it will provide enough explanation to the question. All right. I'm sure you should basically already know um how to draw the shapes they are very easy to draw okay so i will start with example one i'll read the question out for you draw full scale in first angle projection the following views of the details shown elevation in the direction of arrow t end view in the direction of arrow s and plan view projected from view A. So in the question, we are given that T is our front elevation because we are asked to draw the plan from T. So let's begin. We can, okay, so the first thing, before I start drawing the, the first thing you do for orthographic projection is to draw the planes and the planes you of course you need to know how big your drawing will be so you can make enough space on your paper and ensure it fits in perfectly first thing you do is to draw a horizontal line or a vertical line if you wish right then draw vertical lines always remember to give enough space for how big your drawing will be you can know how big your drawing will be by looking at the dimensions of your question so if let's use this as an example since this is our front elevation that means the total length of the box our front elevation will be in should be 18 plus 12 so that's 30 so it should be 30 millimeters so that's going to be the distance from here to the next part that will have another line so Let's take, for example, from here to where I'm drawing my line is 30. All right, so we've drawn the two lines, right? Remember, I told you that you should enough, you should have, you should ensure that the space that you've given uh, are enough for the drawing that you will be placing on this on the paper then the next thing you do is to uh, use standard the where you measure one centimeter and then draw perpendicular lines and parallel lines through those measurements. Well, good, so our object is going to occupy this space and this space, etc., etc. With this, you are ready to draw your orthographic projection of your object.
So we have these objects. So we can see, and we should be able to draw this out. We are looking at this way as our front elevation. So we have this height, this height, this length, this slanted length, this height, this height, this height, this height. They are all given in the question. You can see that the height, total height of this object is 40. So that's from here to here is 40. So we have all the information that we can use for drawing. So it starts. I'm sketching this. So we have something like this as our front elevation. Then we are also asked to draw the view from this direction, S. So this is the left side view, because if we're looking at it this way, and this is front, then this is at the left of this front, right? Yes, so uh, remember in our last tutorial, if you haven't watched that, you should go and watch them. The last two tutorials on orthographic projection, we talked about how to ensure we put the right views in the right places. So uh, on the left side, this is our left side view. The left side view of a first angle projection. Remember, we are projecting this object in first angle. The left side view of the of the of the object is going to be placed on the right side of our front elevation on here. So that's why we have our front elevation here, and this is our left side view. So let's draw that. So the next thing you do is to project lines from your front elevation. Then, with the given information, you construct the left side view. Yeah, so this is the left side view of the object. Now from the question, we are now asked to project a plan. The next thing we do is to project lines down from here and from here. Anytime you are um, projecting to maybe construct from a plan, construct maybe the left side or the right side view, or from the front elevation, you are constructing a plan, or anytime you are constructing one other view, it could be any of them, you are expected to project a line, a 45 degree line. Um, since we are projecting, we are constructing the plan, I'm going to project a line that is below the left side view so that I can project the measurements from here down. So if I have something like this drawn down, so this is the 45 degree line that should be drawn down. Then you project all the points from your left side view down to that line.
right so we have that then from here you extend out you should remember that all these lines you are drawing should be parallel to each other so that you can have a straight perfect work okay because my this might not be perfect 45 degree and i'm sketching but ideally this object is actually meant to be pushed to the last of these lines okay so we have we have this then you project all the points from here down to good so with this we have what our plan should look like so begin drawing the plan You should remember to always keep making reference to the original object as you draw your your views so that you can ensure you know which lines are hidden and which lines are not hidden. So with this we are done with projecting this um object. Remember I told you that we have a mistake on this on this part. It's supposed to start from here. But it's basically just shifting this whole object until this line touches this line. Okay, so with that we have what our shape looks like this then all you need to do is to finish off okay i think i need to show you how to do this one you get this guy constructed so you need a compass and a ruler so i will use i'll use this for now just draw circle and an inner circle they should be evenly spaced out okay then from your circles you project lines out And you project your center line out too. Then you draw a trapezoid. And so if you've done this, you are done with your question, in that question, and you are good to go. So I'll ex be explaining third angle projection in the next video. Stay tuned.